Yeah, I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Joe Biden. Dude is this dude is what you call a pathological liar. You say a path of what? A pathological liar. Pathological? You say pathological. Sounds like you got an extra syllable in there or something. Pathological liar. Pathological. Say it fast. Pathological liar. Found an extra syllable in there. Hey, Kevin, I'm saying it right. Okay, I take a word for it. Pathological liar. <laughs> Am I saying it right, Chris? Thank you. Okay. He'll say anything for votes. Well, he'll say anything to black people. They, they soak it up. That's why I keep doing it. Well, that's not his fault. Black people are stupid. You're just trying to get hey, voted Kevin, in. Stop some black people. All black people are not stupid. <laughs> Yo, come on. Stop playing. What do you mean? I'm, what are you talking about? <laughs> stop generalizing black people. I didn't say all black people are stupid. I just think a majority of them are. <laughs> just because they vote Democrat? Mm-hmm. Well, that's a good metric to you. They can't see the. <laughs> see, four. I got through a joke to you. You didn't even catch it. What'd she say? I said that's a good metric to use. What? Yeah. What? Vote for Democrat. You said vote for Democrat. That that labels them stupid. Yeah. I said that's a good metric to use. You know what? You're right. That's a great metric. Because these people can't see the forest for the trees. They can't see the pig for the ham hocks. <laughs> What? They can't see the collard greens for the hog moth. <laughs> Shut up. So Bob's giving this speech today. I think it was in relation to that mass shooting was in Jacksonville. Yeah, it's horrible, yeah. Yeah, from what I hear, it was a white guy, and he went to a black. You white supremacist, huh? That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. I don't I don't have the uh, facts on it, but. You sound like white supremacist. Yeah. So this is what Biden had to say. But pause for just a moment. I thought things had changed. I was able to literally, not figuratively, talk Strom Thurmond into voting for the, for the Civil Rights Act before he died. And I thought, well, maybe there's real progress. But hate never dies. It just hides. It hides under the rocks. And when someone breathes a little oxygen in, it comes out with roaring out. I talked to Stern, John Thurman. Yeah, yeah, I talked to him. Yeah, voting for civil rights. Civil rights, but it never, it never dies. Just hides. Just hides. And I look like Fire Marshal Bill. Now you tell me to be serious. Won't you take your own advice? Turns out all of that is a lie. When the civil rights uh, bill was passed, mm -hmm. Joe Biden was 21 years old, and he wasn't even in the damn. He wasn't even in Congress. He wasn't what? a senator yet. He, he wasn't was, a senator. No, he, was, he wasn't in Congress. He wasn't even elected yet. <laughs> no, the hey, president of the United States just lied to everybody. <laughs> man, it's <that's> crazy. <laughs> we should impeach that man. <laughs> he was in the Senate. He got voted in eight years later. And turns out, why would he lie about something like that? Because um, a bunch of black people just got shot by a white guy. He's sounds like to me he's like, yeah, he's a white supremacist, he's a white nationalist. Yeah. So he he's like, yeah, man, I can keep this black vote because I think I'm. This dude is kind of losing the black vote seriously. Yeah, he lost a lot. Because when well, they arrested, well, shut up. When they arrested Trump, that resonated with the black community. <laughs> <laughs> they they can now embrace him. Hey, hold on, they treating this man like a negro. <laughs> But that's why he said it. Yeah. Turns out strong. He's politicizing it. Yeah. For political gain. Yeah. That's what he's doing. Like a true Democrat. Strom Thurmond voted against the Civil Rights Act. On top of that. Yeah, he he was one of the man, yeah. he put it up on Wikipedia. He's he did one of the longest filibusters of Shut up and let me read it. Now that's what you call a white supremacist right there. You can see it in his eyes. I can't. If he seen me like I ain't gonna say it. I mean, he looks. He look, he, if he was alive today and seen that one website, what's it called? Black, black. No. <laughs> hey man, you had to go down. <laughs> this website's called Black. He looks it's like he's black dudes. Um, it's pornography. Hey Keith, you ain't got to go there. It's a bunch of Snow White Christians watching. Snow it. White girls with blonde hair. It's <laughs> and, he, and they are. Are you? Hey Keith, stop it. <coughs> let it go. Okay, let me read this about Strom Thurmond. A staunch opponent of He's got this look on his face. What? My daughter's a snow bunny. <laughs> She's dating a black guy. What? It's 18 inches long. <laughs> Kevin, let's get serious. 
Okay, that was messed up. Yeah, I, too, I shouldn't, yeah. shouldn't have did that. Look. A staunch opponent of civil rights legislation. A staunch. During... Just say staunch. A staunch opponent. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. You said staunch. <laughs> Just say staunch. You got a lot of anxiety when you read. All right, here we stunt. go. Stunt. Okay. Hey, stunt. <laughs> Kevin, stop. You're making me laugh. Well, read it. Okay, here we go. A stunt opponent of civil rights legislation during the 1950s and 60s. Thurman. That's better. That's way yeah. better. Thurman conducted the longest speaking filibuster ever by a lone senator at 24 hours and 18 minutes in length. In he opposition. spoke for 24 hours, yeah. 18 minutes. Yeah, in opposition to the Civil Rights Act of 1957. In 1960s, he voted against the 1964 Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Despite his support for racial segregation, Thurman denied the accusation that he was a racist <laughs> by insisting he was a supporter of states' rights, <laughs> states rights <laughs> and an opponent of excessive federal authority. That's enough. All that what uh, Byron said was a total lie. Yeah. He just, um, he's uh, politicizing what happened um, in uh, Jacksonville, and he's, he sees blood in the water, so he's like, yeah, let's... Don't have his facts straight. No, that was a straight-up lie. Yeah, I, I think so, too. He, they didn't have his facts straight. Well, he's just lying to... to oh, oh, people. Oh. He's lying to black people. Oh, he's got dementia. Might be all a little bit of every each one. Yeah, he's lying and Henning's got to make <laughs> Oh, mumbling fool. <laughs> yeah. It's like you could tell something's wrong with him when you see somebody talking, look like he's scared to open his mouth. Just well, and his eyes is closed and he's and when he turns, he's like, Yeah, it means your brain can't multitask. Well, when you turn like this, and you look like you walking on air shut on eggshells, he feel like his body's always aching. He feel like he's gonna if he can do this, it's gonna break his neck. Why he need those suicide assist steps and when he's getting up. Suicide assist steps. Yeah, because it'd be suicide if he don't use them assist steps. <laughs> suicide assist. You mean the, the, um, the um, handrails? Yeah, that's what I meant. Thanks for clarifying. Man, I don't know what I'd do without you. Yeah, um, Joe Biden, you're a buffoon. And if you can vote for this dude in the upcoming election, well, well black people vote for him. You know, we voted. Nah, he's, he's losing a lot of black support. He is. How much he lose? One, two percent? That's all he needs to you lose. You know, them Negroes are going to still vote for him. Oh, man. Give him some them credit. Them Negroes are going to still vote for him. He probably lost three or four percent. Them Negroes ain't going to leave him. Three or four percent of uh, how many uh, Negroes in this country? That's Too a whole lot. Too many. <laughs> what? Nine. Nothing. They say that. Yeah. I'm just saying, two, three percent. That's a lot. They oh, it ain't. Of the it's still over. Yeah, I know it's a lot. How many, how many people live in America? I don't know. I don't keep tabs on that. I forget. Probably look like a damn computer to you. I forget. Probably I look like an encyclopedia. I think it's... um. No, look. You said how many people um um not going to vote for Biden? Black? No, you said it. Yeah, that's what you said. You said no, it. No, you said it. You, can, you, you, you said black out people numbers. wasn't going to vote for him. He's losing, I, I, he's black losing support. Yeah. Yeah. He should lose... All of them, though. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm coming from. Yeah. Black people vote on 90% clip for Democrats. He's probably going to lose maybe 1%, 2%, 3%. Look, it's 331 million people in America. 10% is black. That's, uh, it's probably more. Let's just say 10% to keep the math simple. What's 10% of uh, 330 million? Man, they ain't coming in to do no <laughs> damn statistics. <laughs> okay, 100 million. 10% of 100 million is what, a million? 10 million. It's 10 million. 10% of 100 million is 10 million. It's 10 million, right? Now, what's wrong with you? Right? I said a You're million. You're smarter than that. You said a million. I'm only acting That's like. That's 1%. I'm only acting like a Negro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on now. 10% okay. of 100 million is 10, 10 million. million. So if he lost 30 million votes to the black community, that is detrimental to his campaign. I, I agree with you. He's I agree with support. everything you just said, but it looked like. More blacks would vote the other way, just not 30 million. You would think about the whole uh, woman and being a man and being a woman. Yeah. You would think black you people would think, like, hold up now, this is kind of crazy. You would think at least half of black people would switch their vote. You would think. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Biden, you're a fool.
black people, if you vote for him, don't say it. Why? Yeah, go ahead, Sam. They need to hear it. Tough love. Say it. You're an idiot. Hey, we got a new giveaway going. <laughs> we give it away a Ram 2500 diesel. Yeah. And we even threw a cranny in there. Good kind of cranny. It's the Cummins cranny. Play on words. It's kind of like a pun, right? And we throw in $10,000 in a cold, hard, white American cat. <laughs> got the white presidents on it. That's that good money. <laughs> the, the end of the win, go to officialhogstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, get you automatically in at the win. Yeah.